This video is brought to you by Ace of Twelve Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. The switch statements. It's just in this particular switch there's a problem. Say uh, num contained a value of, for instance, 45. Okay. Now there's no case 45 here, and in an if block we'd be able to say else to uh, represent values that aren't uh, talked about in the if or the else ifs. But here, if I save this and just press refresh, nothing appears. And uh, now, that those are the two problems with this switch statement. Let's move on and look at how we can solve those problems. And just before we do that, I'm going to comment this stuff out. Okay, and on comment this. Now here we, uh, just for the fun of it, we're well actually not for the fun of it really. It's it's another reason, but we're making a variable called choice and assigning it a value of a prompt. And you know what the value of a prompt means? It means the uh, the value from the prompt. And uh, this just demonstrates that switches can be used with more than just integers. They can be used with strings as well. And it also helps to uh, clarify the, my point about this isn't case number one, case number two, and case number three. This I case is just a uh, necessary keyword in a switch statement. What we're actually saying is the value inside choice this value. Okay. So anyway, moving on. Uh, here, we solve those two problems that we looked at in uh, this first switch. And just to show that they're solved, I'm going to save this, refresh, and I've just got to make a selection here, either oranges, apples, pears, or bananas. I'm going to say 1, because uh, remember last time we entered 1, it went through all the others, so if we have the same problem still here, it's going to go through all the others. But anyway, I input 1 now, and I click OK, and it says you selected oranges, and now the moment of truth. Okay, and it, it doesn't output, it doesn't allow anything else. And the reason being is because we have this break statement. Okay, now what break does, it, it can be used in many places as well, mind you. I'll, um, I'll probably talk about that in a later tutorial. But break just says exit out of uh, the current statement I'm in. And because the current statement it, this, uh, the, the, uh, this bit of code is in is the switch statement, it now breaks out of the switch statement. Because before, to break out of the switch statement, it had to get to the end of the switch statement. Okay, whereas now uh, we can just break out from here because we're using this break command. Okay, and I think I forgot to mention why am I why am I using strings here? That if we enter a number in the prompt, doesn't it come out as an integer as well? Whereas if we enter a string, it comes out as a string. Well, no, actually, unfortunately, uh, well, not really. It's not too unfortunate because there are always ways to convert strings to integers and that kind of thing. But basically, um, all prompt the value from every prompt comes out as uh, as a string, and that's that's just why I use the prompt here rather than saying uh, rather than giving out a, a, ver a number, an integer, like I did here, just so I could demonstrate that switches can take strings as well as numbers and stuff. So anyway. Finally, let's move on to the second problem here. Remember before when we entered 45, it didn't output anything. Well, here, if we enter, here we've only got 1, 2, 3, and 4. So if we enter 5, for instance, okay. Oh, and here we get a text box saying, sorry, I didn't understand that. So how is this happening? Well, basically, it's due to this default statement here. Okay, and def it's pretty self-explanatory. Everyone knows what default means. If you don't, just type define colon space def default into Google, and you'll get a definition of it. But uh, basically, and the default can be put anywhere, just so you know. It's not like an if statement, where the else has to go right at the end of the if. I could put the default statement um, here if I wanted to, right here. But uh, just for good practice, we should sort of construct it like an if, so it looks better. Also, uh, if for some reason... Uh, we forgot to put a break statement here. It, it will get to default uh, last, and it won't go to default straight away. So uh, that's just something I wanted to talk about. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the uh, the end of the tutorial, I guess. 
So basically, we just covered uh, escape characters, prompts, conditional statements, and switch statements. And if you have any questions, any at all, please, please uh, either comment on the video, comment on my channel, or send me a private message, or email me, or Skype me, whatever way you can contact me, send me a contact form via my website, you know, wh however is best for you, and uh, I'll do my best to explain it better. Um, so yeah, this has just been a tutorial base of 12 over and out.